I mean water ski, Ali Ali oxen free. <gasps> Christine, uh, I found that the disorder got its name from a Turkish evolutionary biologist named Ertan. Uh, it seems that based off multiple studies, it seems there's no evidence that would conclude the genetic disease is more common in one gender over the other. Also, it seems that the syndrome is associated with intrafamilial marriages, which suggests an autosome recessive transition, thus being a gene disorder, specifically a mutation in the VLDLR that's polluting neural migration. Uh, Christine, also there seems to be other multiple variants like mental retardation. Also in lunar tan syndrome, there's overlapping symptoms with cerebral ataxia. Uh, in this context, same in ataxia and disequilibrium syndrome are not essentially different from each other. It says both are being associated with dysarthia and cerebral hypothalasia, which are symptoms known in lunar tan syndrome. The syndrome may, it says the syndrome may be regarded as a distinct entity among non-progressive autosome recessive cerebral ataxia transmission. Christine, also, this last thing that I found seems to say that Turkish populations over others um, seem to be more heavily affected due to marriages relating to or denoting people descended from the same parents and ancestors. Maybe I should get Miguel. Oh, your name is Miguel, right? Oh, I was just in class and my science teacher told me to look up and research a rare uh, genetic disorder. Uh, I feel like I, I, I've seen your disorder before. Would you mind being in it? Alright, cool. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right, so Miguel, what a, what a man. I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind, for a research project on Unertan. Okay. Um, do you know the scientific name and common name of your disorder? Um, usually it's called human quadrupalism, but it's it's called Unertan syndrome scientifically. Uh, that's all. Now, I I barely see people like you. Um, so like, do you know if your disorder is common or not? Uh, it's extremely rare. Um, oh, really? The first family that had it, I think, they were in a small village near um, Ixenderun. And then the families were in Adana and later two other small villages. And I mean, it's just, it's small. I don't know how I got it, to be honest. Now, um, do you know what your prognosis or outcome of the disorder, by any chance, and also your life expectancy? 
That's dark. Yeah, my bad. Well, I know that we have difficulty just initiating, like, walking, basically. That's, it's hard to take a step, but, um, and, I don't know, we just, we have trouble with our balance, I guess. So oftentimes we, like, we lose our balance because we have poor balance. And also, we have, like, poor mental capacity. And sometimes we, we have trouble speaking. And it's hard to develop social skills. Right, because of this, what do you expect your life expectancy to be? I mean, that's a dark question, but I think I'll live pretty long, like 70 nine years about usually is that what your doctor gave you i think so okay um now have you ever received any treatments for the disorder like do you have any treatments that help you deal with this uh no there's is it because of financial reasons or is it no it's there's just there's no cure it's oh really it sucks um, we just use posture correcting exercises sometimes, but like, look at me, look at me, you know, just, yeah. just look at me. Now, uh, one last final question. What would it be like to live with this order knowing that, well, you already live with this, so what is it like? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so sorry, this is the last question. Thank you for your time. Um, the last question is, what is it like to live with the disorder? Is there like any required care and financial obligations? Uh, I mean, we, we definitely need physical assistance and it's just, it's hard not being able to do things myself, you know? Yeah. So like sometimes we need assistance for like everyday things and it sucks. It's really bad. Who's the one assisting you? Just like a caretaker, that's all. And now do you go to any facilities to get help and treatment? Um we I go to cognitive facilities sometimes because I need mental assistance and and tests. They they do tests. We do like like school tests like okay. written to, to measure like my responses and stuff. Okay. Well, thank you, Miguel, for your time. Uh, thank you for your response. It was great meeting you. Thanks. Don't worry, uh, I expect you to live long, long and healthy life. Um, thank you for your time. Oh, Miguel, you wanna come over to my house? And do the project and research about you? That show? Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Watch a sample. Hello, hi, my friend just had a heart attack. Oh my god. It's been a long day, 
without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Why'd you have to leave so soon? Yeah. Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you without feeling much worse. I know you're in a better place, but it's always gonna hurt. Carry on, give me all the strength I need to carry on. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you Till we all make a move Are you gonna find a baby my way? Are we gonna grind or are we gonna play? We gonna give it time but never go away Said it either black or white but not gray Are you gonna find a baby my way? Are we gonna grind or are we gonna play? We gonna give it time but never go away Said it either black or white but not gray I said we out here grind or we workin' 